Without further ado, Angus, we'd like to offer you the 2014 New York City Lifetime Achievement and Horror Award. Here you go, sir. I gather uh, the band will not be putting it off in 30 seconds. Um, I want to thank uh, Sean Teedman, a videographer and uh, documentary filmmaker from Pennsylvania, for his incredible work. He's done that for me before, and uh, he has a knack for making his subjects look impossibly good. <laughs> so thank you, Sean. I want to thank all the gentlemen who just spoke. Could I have hard copies of those speeches? <laughs> I want to read them to myself every morning before I get out of bed. <laughs> well, <clears throat> uh, being pretty sure I would be called on to say a few words tonight and Realizing that I'm a little memory challenged and going on 89. I took the liberty of writing down a few words. I, I hope you'll forgive me if I read from the prepared script. One pair of blue pajamas, two. <laughs> That's my hotel laundry list. <laughs> sir, sir. Our housemaids complain that when they enter your room to clean, they find you awaiting them, stark naked. <laughs> well, they come so early, I'm just out of the shower. Oh. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I'll win it. When uh, I first learned I was to receive this, Life Achievement Award, I thought, oh dear, has the time truly arrived for the record? Is God watching? And then I remember my illustrious predecessors in receiving this honor were in their 50s and 60s. My friend Roger Corman, my friend Toby Hooper, my friends Stuart Gordon and Robert Aitman. And, uh, uh, well, I don't actually know any of those people very well, but I found <laughs> out of Um, any case, none of them has seen fit to wind up his affairs, so, not to worry. <laughs> um, I am honored to be following in the footsteps of such distinguished filmmakers. I am especially honored to be receiving an award conceived by the ingenious and industrious Michael Hine, who was so kind to Don Coscarelli and me when we visited here in 2005, and who indeed uh, created this festival, which is respected and renowned all over the world and attracts brilliant filmmakers from around the globe. Uh, very, very, very impressive. <laughs> when, uh, when the beloved actress Myrna Loy was in her last years, the Motion Picture Academy decided to give her an honorary award. But she was too frail to make the trip west to receive it at the ceremony. So the televising uh, company sent a camera crew to her New York apartment. And Miss Roy sat tastefully thrown uh, in a comfortable 
sofa chair in front of her fireplace. The camera moved in on her, and she said merely, you've made me very happy. One, um, one the outstanding wit, and uh, stage actors, screen actors, book author, award-winning screenplay writer, Ruth Gordon, in her 70s, was announced to receive a the Best Supporting Actress Award for Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> she, spr she sprang from her seat, she sprinted up to the stage, she seized the microphone and proclaimed, you just got no idea how and cut in from the seats. <laughs> well, I feel uh, happy and uh, encouraged uh, to receive this award. He's not the handsomest kid on the block, is he? <laughs> but I love him already. I will put him in my bedroom on the pillow next to mine. <laughs> Well, he will be a constant inspiration to me. <laughs> to do what? God only knows. <laughs> Thank you. And may all your dreams of filmmaking come true.